Hey, so I want to do a uh, code share on the MicroPython for sending data from our XB to Avnet, um, which under the hood is using the Azure uh, IoT Hub. So <clears throat> quick demo on what we have right now. Um, we'll stay at the graph. So this here is the um, console of the XB. Um, so basically now we're going to run this device, this command on the controller. And you can see over in Abnet, the data updates. Uh, say we do like 10, uh, it updates more. So that's device to cloud. Um, when we do cloud to device, we come over to commands. Um, we select some settings, uh, entities. So this is going to be the all things sensors entity. We can choose other entities. Uh, so, um, uh, let me quickly, I need to get the public method. Okay. It's check method, check message. Uh, okay. So we execute command spinning, spinning executed over on the digi. Um, there is now a method that we can run periodically called And device.check message, you can see it returned this as a topic, all that stuff. If I do it again, it only checks it once, which is pretty nice. And then if I did it like twice, basically there's some memory. Like, so if you said like, turn off light, or if you're in a shop setting, uh, run, do this thing in the shop. Let's see, we're gonna send two. Entity command. You can send uh, parameter values too. So hi from the cloud. Uh, I actually don't think I'm printing the command. We'll see. Okay, so those have been checked. So in our queue, we have two. And you can see two, topic, and then there's a comma, message. I don't see my hi from and I'm pretty sure it's because I'm not, uh, that might be on the Python side. Um, but yeah, so that's how we do cloud to device, device to cloud. So we're gonna quickly jump into the code. Um, so we are wrapping all of this functionality behind an Azure MQTT client a class, basically. Um, it's gonna take a host, a client ID, a device ID, a shared access key, a SAS token, a company ID, and a device template ID, which is configuration that is on Avnet's dashboard. Um, and then, like I said, the usage is going to be there's two public methods, device.send, which will take an object of data that maps to your Avnet parameters, and a check message. Um, and then, in, so inside of the class, um, we're basically on a knit. So this is going to be our constructor. Inside our constructor, there's a lot going on right now, but Basically, we're taking that configuration and we're updating it to things that we need, like topic string and such. So um, I might move this logic out. Um, um, basically, then we have our setup method, which is going to connect to the MQTT client. Um, and then we have a send method, which is going to build this object, um, which is going to be Avnet configuration and our payload of data, whatever's in uh, the, let's see, whatever is in this object. So if you had GPS location, other attributes, that's where you'd put it. Oh, mm. let's see, publish. Yeah, so we got our topic string, basically like this whole, whole thing is based on MQTT. So we create this MQTT client and we publish to our topic with our JSON string. Uh, so this works with Avnet or even the Azure IoT Hub. Um, so it's kind of uh, agnostic. And then um, another thing I'm doing is I'm working on, uh, I want to have this fairly unit tested. So right now I have um, some basic tests, uh, like test should create client, test should throw error if device ID is missing, test should throw error. Basically I have a couple of these tests to find. I want to uh, test um, all the places where we are building like 
the topic string is a combination of client ID, uh, username is a combination of host client ID. So I want to get all that tested. And, and but I mean, right now it seems to be working pretty nice. Um, before we go to production, there are some things that we need to do. Oh, I need to stop going to my configuration file. I'm going to blur that out and, and uh, video editing. Damn it. Uh, yeah, so a few things that we need to do, like right now we've got some values hard-coded, we need to get our configuration figured out, and then I think there's some more paths for author authentication and authorization. 